From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, tomorrow's going to make six days in a row where we have seen temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. But we have a big change on the way come tomorrow evening, tomorrow night in the form of a strong cold front that's going to generate a few showers, not concerned with the showers, no severe weather. And this thing dips on through and our temperatures some 35 to 40 degrees colder over the following 24 hours. So let's take a look first off outside. Justin Tarot, our chief videographer, getting a nice shot of the sunset water tower and the clouds zipping on by. He did do a little bit of a time lapse here, so the clouds are sped up, but a little sunshine out there today and temperatures upper 70s in spots, 77 in Lafayette, but a few spots hitting 80 locally from Baton Rouge over to Houston. Houston and then up through Monroe as well. So let's take a look at the big picture across the lower 48. The polar jet stream uh, way up here off to the north. That's where winter weather advisories, even uh, some uh, blizzard warnings are in effect for portions of the Dakotas into Minnesota. More snows moving out of the Rockies and this storm system will drag a cool front across our area, but not much shower activity expected with it. Although we'll see some brief showers, not a whole lot of rain on the way. Plenty of clouds across the area. A few sprinkles back to the west uh, with the jet stream, and we might see a few sprinkles overnight tonight, but the main theme will be where is the fog and where is it going to go? Well, the fog advisors continue for the coastal waters, uh, but the wind's strong enough, and we have more clouds out there, so that may mitigate some of that sea fog moving inland tonight, but certainly it is still a threat. No advisories, though, inland. Temperature-wise, you can see we got into the upper 70s, 80 at uh, 2.30 in Houston, Monroe. Jackson Hammond at 81. Baton Rouge hit a record of 82 this afternoon. 77 was the official high in Lafayette and similar temperatures across all of Acadiana. Meanwhile, conditions offshore, a little breezy out here, but that has not mitigated the fog situation banked along the coast. So as we take a look at the visibility, fog could be an issue overnight tonight, especially coastal areas, but some of that works its way inland. It will be mild. Lots of clouds. Any way you slice it again tomorrow, Tomorrow, maybe breaks early afternoon before this frontal boundary begins to work its way into the area, creating the threat of scattered showers. We'll go 40, 50 percent on your rain chances late tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow evening. The front pushing through Lafayette, uh, maybe a little bit quicker than this 830 time frame, but sometime during the evening hours and then breezy, much colder air moving in. We'll still see some high clouds, maybe a little dull sun early Friday, but clouds dominate and temperatures stay in the 40s and then not in including the wind chill, which is going to be in the 30s. Unfortunately, as we look at the European model, uh, we don't see the weather on here, but we'll have a warm front coming back in. That means temperatures warming back up. And after a chill down for Friday and Saturday, we'll be in the 70s again on Sunday. So temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 60s, most areas closer to the upper 60s. And then tomorrow afternoon will favor mid to upper 70s. I'm going warmer than the future cast model run. Then temperatures dropping into the low to mid 40s for your Friday morning. Wind chills in the mid to upper 30s. So bundle on up. We're back to overcoats and temperatures may make 50, but it's going to feel much cooler than that for your Friday afternoon. So another mild night ahead. Fog near the coast. Some of that fog moving inland with the breeze decreasing later on tonight. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy and warm. Could be the warmest day of the year. We'll go 78, 79 in Lafayette. Showers for the late afternoon afternoon at about 40 perhaps in the 50 percent range and as we move ahead there we go up down temperatures back up by the end of the weekend and then a couple of spring like days going into early next week and then another cool front arrives next Tuesday so some big changeable weather and we go from short sleeves to the heavier jackets the medium to heavy jackets.